So today we're gonna take you on a journey of different apartments and different neighborhoods here in Medellin. So if you're thinking about relocating to Medellin and buying an apartment, this is the video you have to watch because at the end of the video, we're also gonna tell you a special insider, tips you insider tip you have to know before buying an apartment here in Medellin. So let's start with the first neighborhood, which is El Poblado. First, we start with an apartment in El Poblado. El Poblado is a metropolitan uh, part of town, so like the neighborhood. Uh, it's very, very affluent, very, very upscale. It's beautiful to look at, a lot of lush greenery. Uh, you have a lot of international restaurants, so everything you can wish for from a met uh, metropolitan city, uh, but just with a very, very cheap cost of living. So we're not just want to talk about the great things, uh, but also give you a realistic view of what it is. One of the negative parts of El Poblado is surely that it's very, very hilly. Um, I, first of all, you have nice views because of that usually. But secondly, yeah, if you, if you want to walk, let's say five, six, seven blocks, uh, it can be, let's say, not so good for your knees. Uh, so this is just one thing you have to know. Other than that, it's really like if you search for a downtown city feel, it's just an amazing, amazing city. Very, very nice to look at. And yeah, so let's go and uh, meet with, uh, re uh, with our trusted real estate agent, Juan Camilo, and look at the apartment. So this is Juan Camilo, our trusted real estate agent. And he will today show us uh, the different apartments we're gonna look at. So let's go to the first apartment. So before we show you the apartment, we want to talk about uh, things that are special about apartments in general here in Medellin. And one of that is, yeah, that you have a lot of amenities or shared amenities. So Juan Camila, how does it usually work? Like what are the shared amenities like in uh, Medellin? Okay, so the typical building in the city has 24 hour security guard mm -hmm. and pool, gym and a space that we use for party. So we call it party room. Yep. So people can reserve it and use it at night and make a barbecue or even a kid a, a party or whatever you need mm -hmm. it. It has some restrictions, but you can use it for that purpose. So you have to have guests on your in your house. Okay. So this is the typical social amenities in a building. Mm. Okay, so we are in a 152 square meter apartment. It is including a 14 square meters uh, terrace on top of the apartment because this unit, it's a two-story apartment. So we have three bedrooms and three baths, which is so good because it has two bedrooms in the first level and it has a master in the second floor. And the price, it would be $200,000. As you see, this is a very nice apartment because it has double height ceilings on the living area and it's very bright. It has only four apartments per floor and there is no walls sharing with the neighbors. So it's very independent and this is the penthouse. So we are on the way to the next apartment, which is in Envigado, very, very close to uh, yeah, the apartment we've been, just around 10 minutes. Uh, the apartment is also very close to Poblado, to the border, which is called La Frontera. So the area is also called La Frontera, where yeah, the, the apartment is in. Envigado in itself is a more residential area than Poblado. Poblado is a little, feels a little bit more like um, downtown, where Envigado has, yeah, it's a little bit more uh, family friendly, more residential feel, still a lot of greenery, still very nice to look at. And it's one of the areas in Medellin with the most bang for the buck. So apartments are 10, 20% uh, less expensive, even though they're similarly modern. So before we enter the apartment here in uh, Envigado, I wanted to give you another kind of tip or yeah, what's special about apartments in general here in Medellin. One of the things you can see here are uh, the porteria. So the, let's say many apartments, you will have a security guard and it's just, uh, not just there for to keep in the security, it's more kind of a, a relict of past times where it was uh, less secure, but also he will take uh, care of administrative things. And he's usually the first pe person you would ask for, yeah, if something in the apartment uh, is wrong or yeah, if you have a complaint about the neighbor or different things like that. Yeah, that's called again, the porteria.
Ok, so we are now in Envigado in Bosques de Zúñiga. This is a 105 square meter apartment. It is a three bedroom, two bathrooms. It has an open kitchen and it was totally remodeled a few years ago. Uh, it, it is $160,000. So as you can see, it has a very nice balcony where you can spend time, eat breakfast, or just have a coffee cup at the in, in the afternoon or a glass of wine in the evening. Also, it's a full amenities complex. It has pool, sauna, party room, gym, and a very nice garden, as well as all the area around is full of trees and full of animals and birds, so you can walk around this area very pleasant. So we are here in Sabaneta. Before we go to the apartment, a little bit about Sabaneta, the neighborhood itself. Sabaneta is a very traditional neighborhood. It has this traditional church and the nice park in front of it. And it's very, very family oriented. Uh, the one thing I don't really like about Sabaneta too much is you don't really have too much green space you can, uh, you can actually use. Uh, so if you have a dog or something like that, just be aware that you pick a place where there are green spaces around so you can go out with the dog. Other than that, it really has a very good community feel. It's very nice uh, to live there in yeah, more, as I said, traditional neighborhood. So before we go into the apartment, we want to give you the special tip I told you in the beginning of the video. So you say you have a special tip for us that yeah, everybody should know if they want to buy an apartment here in Medellin, right? Yeah, the most important thing is you have to come here and negotiate the prices in Colombian pesos because I want you to have the control of the exchange rate and not the seller. So these are yeah, different things. You have to know this was just, of course, one little tip. If you want to work with Juan Camilo, uh, make sure to contact him via the email address uh, in the description down below so you can work with him and yeah, you know you have a trustworthy agent that's yeah kind of protects your side of the, of the negotiation. Okay, now we are in Sabaneta, this is a uh, 87 square meters is a three uh, rooms two bathrooms plus a very nice studio it has a very cool deck where you can see all the north of the valley i mean i mean you can see medellin even bello and all the mountains from this apartment it has a very nice social amenities as well it has a jacuzzi with the view a gym and 20 hours security as well elevators it's a very brand new apartment that you can enjoy just for $110,000. So that was it for the video. We saw three different neighborhoods. We saw three different apartments in three different uh, categories price-wise. And yeah, really hope this video helped. If you want to work with Juan Camilo, again, he's our trusted real estate agent. Uh, he will protect your side of the negotiation. And yeah, thanks for having us here on the stage. No, thank you for having me here. And I'm glad to work with you. I'm glad to show you some properties. I'm looking forward for your email. <laughs>